Jim Nance and Phil Sims at Super Bowl 48 East Rutherford, New Jersey. Partner, we're ready to find out the best we can play. Yeah, we are, Jim. And you know the players, there's so many thoughts that go through your mind. But you know what? If you win this game, you know what it does to you and all your teammates and coaches and even the fans. You're bonded forever about this moment that you have a chance to create. Joe McKnight will get a chance to run this one out. And the tackle's made. The offense will start their drive from about the 31. Out of USC, number six, quarterback Mark Sanchez. Chris Ivory lined up in the backfield. First and 10, and Ivory's got it on the handoff. Antonio Holmes had an injury plague season a year ago. Well, they need to be healthy, and they need to be a number one receiver. What does that mean? Coming to play every single week, not making middle errors, and finding ways to get open down the field. I think he can do it. We'll right, see. We Second down and 13, and Ivory's taking the handoff. They deck him in the backfield. As we get a look at the defensive starters, these linebackers will be counted on today to make plays in the running and passing games. Third down now. Looks to his left. The Jets now move the chains. We have a quarterback to control the football like this guy. Even though it's third and 10 plus yards, he makes a nice throw for the first down. And Holmes is lined up in the slot. First down, throwing again. And he hauls it in. There is a flag out. His head got yanked back the other way. An obvious face mask penalty, and that's a big one. It's about safety of the players, too. That's why when you grab, hit the helmet in certain situations, it's going to be a 15-yard penalty. Don't grab the face mask. Able to move the chains after that penalty. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. The Super Bowl, it's as big as it gets. And just the fan side of you, Phil, what sticks out in your memory back? Well, I think the game, one of my favorite games of all time, Jim, when you talk about the Super Bowls, the Steelers, the Dallas Cowboys, I love them both. Roger Stahlback, Terry Bradshaw, and I remember the Jackie Smith drop in the end zone. Just the emotion that came from him, from all the Cowboys and Roger Stahlback. Uh, it, it was uh, an exciting game to watch. So now a third and ten. Looking for a receiver on the touchdown. Number one at the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl is like no other game out there. It's so big. The tension is so much more than the other playoff games. And when you score first, that is a big, big deal. More than anything, it's a great relief to get that out of the way. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. Here's the former first pick now, Michael Vick taking the field for his first series today. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield, running away from the pressure. Looking across the middle, that pass was hurried. The longtime productive tight end for the Eagles is Brent Selleck. He's just one of those tight ends that knows how to get deep down the field, can make the catches, and has sneaky speed to get open when he has to. And the starting lineups have been brought to you by Papa John's, where you always get better ingredients Better pizza. The off-tackle run, it's just what it says it is. You're going to read the tackle's block and decide whether you're going to go inside or outside. 
Usually, this is the first running play every team puts in their offense when they go to training camp. Now third and four following the run. He's scrambling now. Gets past the first wave. Good job that time by Mike Vick. Nobody opened down the field, and after all these years in the NFL, this guy can still run. Nice job picking up the extra yards. Sevlick's usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. First and 10. Makes the grab, and now will be on the other side of the 50 after this play. 15 minutes down, 45 minutes to go. Back after this word from your local station. The Eagles capped off the first with a big play, and now we'll try to capitalize here at the start of the second quarter. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Vic still got the football after the play fake. The ball's going to be incomplete. The hit knocked the ball out. Jim, that pass ends up incomplete because the defender, he just jarred the football loose with that hit. Nice job. Get that shoulder into the receiver, knock that football out, and get it to the ground. Second down following that incompletion. They knock him down, and he's still two yards short of the first. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. Well, Jim, I know his family's watching, so... We'll give all the information we can as soon as we get it, but it looks like it could be a major injury, and I just, well, I hope the best. That's a face mask call, and of course, for now on, it's 15 yards no matter how you slice it. They don't even have to interpret it anymore. The severity of it, it's a big penalty. Yeah, it is a big penalty. Uh, you know, one thing, you know why we see a lot of face mask penalties in the NFL now? It's because players tackle too high. Get your arms around the waist. Go down low to make those tackles, and you wouldn't get those face mask penalties. That leads us to second down. Scrambling out of the pocket. Eyeing that left side. In the books. Touchdown. There's no doubt about it. When you score like that to tie up the game, it shifts momentum. And it's all up now to the offense of the other team to get back out there and get the momentum back on their side. It's been an exciting game, and we're tied again. The score's 7-7. Seven to seven. Got a chance to return this one. Flag is out. And the tackle's made. The offense will start their drive from about the 31. Holding the seeding team. First down. Chris Ivory lined up in the backfield. Taken down. Well, the quarterback's got to see this blitz when it's coming. And if he checks to an audible to get rid of the football quicker or give himself extra protection, that will help him a lot. After that sack, it's now second down and 17. And we've reached the two-minute warning in this one. And Edwards is lined up now as a slot receiver. Sanchez is going to take it from the gun. Ball's on the ground. Recovery by the offense. So they get to the quarterback on that last play. Third down coming up. They call for the timeout to stop the clock. Should be a routine punt.
the Eagles come out. Jumbo package on the field. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. Second down here after that run play. The handoff running behind the tackle. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block, and then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get in the secondary and make a big play. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards, nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Second down coming up. They feed it to him again. Breaks the tackle. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field. And my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. And they sack the quarterback. That's an excellent job by the defense. Just gets quick penetration in there, hits the quarterback, and gets the sack. That clock keeps moving. What a job by the defense in this situation. Well, they got to the quarterback on first down. Sets up second and long. Under fire all day. When you're the quarterback and you see a blitz, you got to know you got to drop back, look at a receiver, and let it go. No hesitation is allowed. He hesitates, and the defense gets the sack. Michael Vick will take it from the gun. Again, he's been under fire all game. The Eagles call a timeout here. They have zero timeouts remaining. Well, we're anxious to hear the full story on that injury. Let's go down to Danielle Bellini with the story. Guys, I just spoke with an Eagles official. LaShawn McCoy's injury seems to be relatively minor, or at least it's minor enough that he'll be back on the field shortly. Well, that time the kicker just comes up short, just doesn't hit the football solidly. And you can always tell when it's spinning very hard end over end, that means he kicked it too low, and that's why it came up short. They come out in the dime package. Takes the knee. So that's it for the second quarter. Halftime is coming up. We'll have a little first half analysis as we continue on EA Sports after this. And he's tackled right at about the 28-yard line. First down, offense ready for the snap. Play action fake, looking to throw. Looking to scramble. And it's picked off by Cromarty. Shakes off the hit, bringing the play to an end. Right, well, I have to say, that's just a terrible decision by the quarterback there. He's got to know. When you're in a situation like this, you just cannot make that type of pass. Wide receivers are bunched up. First and 10. Quarterback, quick toss to the outside. And he's brought down by Connor Barwin. Good job by the defensive player. Squaring up that running back and just putting his big butt right into the ground. And Edwards is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Mark Sanchez from the gun. Catch is made, and they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. First down here after the completion. Sanchez is going to take it from the gun. He'll fire it out to the left. Wide open for the catch. As good as it gets. Touchdown. How about this get? A wide open receiver down the field. The quarterback, good job of finding. He throws it down there, and he gets the easy touchdown. He made it. Jets getting ready for the kickoff. Tackles 
made. The offense will start their drive from about the 31. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. And he's going to be tackled right around the 37. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. Brings it into his body. Well, when your team is behind, what do you do? Just come out there and get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense. McCoy is lined up in a single back formation. Here's the give to LaShawn McCoy. The outside linebacker that time just did his job very well and gets in there and makes the tackle for very little gain. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. Quarterback giving himself up. I know a lot of folks hold their breath when Vic decides to take off with it, but he can run the football. It's just a matter of how much punishment can he take. Yeah, I like the fact that he will still run the football, Jim, but I like the fact even more if he'd learn to get down and not try to pick up those extra yards because when you go for the extra yards, that's when you take the big hits. You gotta give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do they were ready for that play, and they stopped. The defense comes out in the nickel. Vix turning to look downfield now after selling the play fake. Good job that time by the quarterback. Throw the short pass, even though it doesn't result in a first down. Now on third and short, all of your passes are in play instead of just the third long where you only have like three or four plays you can go to. That will bring us to the end of the third here in East Rutherford. We'll return in a moment for the beginning of the fourth quarter. The Eagles offense has switched sides now and has the football as we begin the fourth quarter. Time that this one's running out and the defense knows it needs another stop. They're gonna get him this time. I don't know what the quarterback was looking at. He had to know the defense was blitzing that time. Doesn't make a quick enough decision, and the defense gets there and gets the sack. Jackson's a receiver in the slot. Looking for an open receiver on the right. And intercepted! Breaks out of that one. What a play. Snickers, the proud sponsor of this satisfying defensive replay. When hunger hits, Snickers satisfies. Now as the clock is winding down, the offense would like to just run it out. First and ten, and Ivory's going to take the handoff now. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. If they're going to have any chance at all here late in the fourth, the defense must make a big stop and give the ball back to the offense. to go before this one's in the books. Nickel formation here for the defense. And Ivory's handed the football. They immediately call for a timeout. play was a run third down coming up the tackle was made short of the first and that'll bring up fourth down the punt team is in place and ready to perform johnson from the 16 they bring him to the turf
Jackson's in the slot. First and 10. Escaping the pressure, trying to work that left side. Under pressure and incomplete. Well, that's just an awful job by the offensive line. They break down almost immediately, but a nice job by the quarterback. Able to get outside the pocket and keep the play alive. In this defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front. And that time, they stopped that run just for a short game. The Eagles head to the line. They've got one timeout left in the game. Secures it with two hands. Got a flag. 39 yards this time. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Well, that looks like an upper body injury, Jim. I think we both can tell that. And uh, now the question is, how bad is it? Uh, you just never know. Third and 11 after the penalty. Got a little screen set up here. Touchdown, Philadelphia Eagles. Good job by the offense. They get in there, they tie this game up. Now we'll see if the defense can take advantage of that momentum and keep it on their side. It's as tight as it can be. The game all square in the final moments. Yeah, when you when the game gets in this situation, Jim, which coach has the courage to call that play that's a little daring? They could backfire, but if it doesn't, it gives you a chance to win the game. Breaks away. The Jets have saved all three of their timeouts for here in the fourth quarter. First and ten. Working that left side. He has the grab. He steps out. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. We've got about a minute to go here, and the game is tied. In an eight. Throwing now to his left. The defense doubled up on that one. Anytime as a quarterback you see the receiver coming across the field on a drag route, don't lead him, just stick it on him. Quarterback throws it too far in front that time. They face third down after the incomplete pass. Mark Sanchez from the gun. And he was wide open. Wow, what a time. Touchdown near the end of this one. You gotta take advantage of situations like this. Not often in the NFL do you get somebody this wide open. Good job by the receiver. Nice job by the quarterback seating. And what do you get? An easy touchdown pass. And the tackle is made right around the 26-yard line. Selig's a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. Jackson's there with the sure hands to pull in the rocket pass. Grabbing the face mask. We see it almost once a week, and here it happens again. Well, a lot of times these defenders, I'll give them a you know, a little slack because they're running so fast, they're trying to tackle some tremendous athletes in open space, and sometimes, accidentally, you're going to grab the face mask. There are a lot of ways to attack cover, too. You can go deep down the middle where neither the safeties are, or if a linebacker covers somebody deep down the middle, then throw it short underneath the defense. Setting up screen. And a completion this time. He's tackled at the 30. Selig's a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. He'll fire it out to the left. Nice tackle. The 
Eagles have to take their final timeout. That's it. This will be the final snap. Dick's going to throw once again on this down. In his hand is complete. Touchdown. You know, if you're a defensive player and you're covering a receiver down here on first and goal, you don't have to cover that much area. That's a terrible job by the defense giving up that touchdown pass. The Eagles just an extra point away from tying this one up late. It's good. These two teams have been battling it out all day long, and now in the waning minutes, the game is tied. Yeah, it is, and it's, hey, look at all the big plays we've had here so far today, and I think just in the waning moments, you know what, we'll see one more big play that's going to decide this game. Joe McKnight now with a chance to return this kickoff. Taken down at about the 33, maybe the 34-yard line. So here in overtime, the rules change. If you receive the ball first and get a touchdown, the game is over. However, if you take the ball down on your first drive and only manage a field goal, the other team will have a chance to tie or win the game. And if both teams get field goals on their opening drives, the next team to score from there will win the game. Jets getting ready for the kickoff. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. Ball is caught. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving. Give yourself three more opportunities. Cooper's lined up in the slot. First and 10, tossing it to the running back. LaShawn McCoy with a nice piece of running on that play. It's a mindset, it's a culture. That's what you gotta create when you talk about running the football. And when you get it going the right way, you can grind a defense up. Another first down for this offense running the football. Good piece of tackling. Zone defense doesn't work in the NFL like it used to. Good job by the quarterback reading that zone and finding the open guy. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it is. Eagles in the end zone. The Philadelphia Eagles have won the Super Bowl. The Lombardi Trophy is going back to the city of brotherly love. Look down on the field right now and just imagine what it's like for them and then even think back to the days when you had that very same experience. Probably the only time I actually ever reflect when I see them win the Super Bowl because I 